Welcome to the GP Llama YouTube channel where I've had a lot of queries coming in asking the question, can I upgrade my existing Kicker Core to support virtual shifting in Zwift? The answer is yes, absolutely you can. And coming up in this video, I'll show you four ways of getting this set up. Now from here on in, in the video, I'll just refer to the Kicker Core as the Kicker because in the very near future, this information will be applicable to a lot of recent model kickers as well, not just the core. But before getting stuck into the details, why virtual shifting? Three reasons right here. Compatibility, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 speed bikes. It simplifies the compatibility. You put any of those bikes on the trainer, line that one gear up and you're good to go. You can also do shifting under full load. So if you're racing on Zwift or riding in very dynamic environments and always changing through gears and crunching through things, you can do that at full power and at max wattage. And related to that, depending on your setup, it's going to be quieter. Now, some people do say the cog amplifies the sound and it does a little bit. There are a few ways to quieten it down that I'll go into another day. But right there are your three main points about why you'd wanna use virtual shifting. It's not for everyone, but if you think it is for you and you own a kicker, let's get stuck into the details. Starting off with the minimal configuration that you'll need to support virtual shifting with a kicker. First of all, a Wahoo Kicker, a recent model with a firmware that's been updated to support virtual shifting. At this very point in time, that is the Wahoo Kicker Core. You'll use your existing cassette that's already installed on that trainer. Just make sure it's in the 14 tooth cog at the back. That will ensure the virtual gearing ratios that's calculated in the first few seconds of your riding is all correct. And you'll need the Zwift Play Controllers. These things right here. Now when installed on your handlebars, these have little gear shifters, little buttons on the outside that allows you to shift up and shift down. Now, just the other day when this announcement went out that uh, Wahoo Kicker Core will be the Wahoo Kicker Core Zwift 1, a lot of people with those controllers updated their firmwares, jumped onto Zwift and started using virtual shifting straight away. It's been received quite well. So there's option number one, the minimal setup that you'll require. Option number two, minimal setup, but with the Zwift cog. And there's a lot of questions coming through on this specific topic. So the Zwift cog and the Zwift click upgrade kit is said to be not compatible with the Wahoo Kickers. Technically, that is correct, but there's a very, very easy hack to make it compatible. At this point in time, Zwift is shipping the COG and Click upgrade kit pre-installed on a free hub body that is only compatible with the Zwift Hub Smart Trainer or the Jet Black Vault. Now with the right tools, those being a chain whip and a cassette lockering tool, you can simply remove the COG. I've only done that very lightly for demonstration purposes. You will need a chain whip on here to secure things down normally. You can remove these components, like so. You can put this aside and install all of this on a Wahoo Kicker Direct Drive Smart Trainer. The installation process on a Wahoo Kicker only takes a few seconds with the inner disc, the cog and the outer disc going straight on and the lock ring adapter, firstly turning that by hand to make sure it's not cross-threaded and then securing that down at no more than 15 Newton meters or very lightly so as not to crush the plastic discs. And after a few seconds, good to go. With the correct adapters for your bike, either through axle or quick release installed, you are ready to ride. So with the correct tools, it's as easy as that. Just switching out that free hub body that the cog ships on and installing it on a Wahoo kicker. From there, gear changes with this and you're good to go. Okay, that was option number two. Option number three, is what I call all of the things. And that will be a recent model Wahoo Kicker direct drive trainer with the upgraded firmware to support virtual shifting, the Zwift COG and Zwift Click upgrade kit with the COG components installed on your kicker. And then with that setup, adding the play controllers to your setup as well. The play controllers and the click can operate at the same time. So you can have shifting out here on the outsides of your bars and the click controller wherever you like. And option number four of getting virtual shifting on your Wahoo Kicker, that will be what I call all of the things with your own cassette. That being a recent model Wahoo Kicker with a supported firmware for virtual shifting, leaving your existing cassette on the trainer, making sure you line up in the 14 tooth. You get yourself the COG and CLICK upgrade kit and you put the COG aside. Now, unfortunately, they're not selling the CLICK by itself just yet, so you've got to buy the upgrade kit to get this. And you get yourself a set of Zwift Play controllers and pair both of those at the same time. So as mentioned previously in option number three, the controllers and the click will work together at the same time. I suspect in the very near future, Wahoo and Zwift will be offering an upgrade kit that is officially supported by Kicker Direct Drive Smart Trainers. But in the meantime, with the right tools, you can get the job done right now. Okay, we'll wrap it up for there today. Hopefully that's cleared a few things up. 
I'll put links in the video description below to my other videos on this very topic, which includes an introduction to virtual shifting, what it is, a massive Q&A, and a hardware teardown of the Zwift COG, and to my video just the other day covering off all the details and the review of the new Wahoo Kicker Core Zwift One Bundle. As always, if you found this informative, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe to be across more videos uploaded to this channel. If you have any further queries, hit me up in the comments and we'll see you soon.